Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm going to begin hey. with, uh, with you, Jay. I just wondered, because I mean, Ray Ray is such an inspiring figure. I mean, so much. I'm, that's why they called him twice, I'm sure. Um, they named him twice. But I'm just wondering, um, when, when you play a role like that, someone who is that inspiring, does that kind of rub off on you when you're as, as just as, as, a, as a human being yourself, just to play someone who's that kind of driven and so compassionate? Does that, does that have a good kind of positive effect on you as a, as a person? 150%. I feel like um, not only working with Ray and playing Ray, that whole set, the production, the crew, the director, the company, all rubbed off on me and just made me a better person, you know? Um, I, I take time now, especially as I got more busy, I take time for family. And family's the key component of this movie, so that was important. Yeah, because I mean, obviously you seem so sort of driven creatively. Do you think you share much in common with him? Although obviously his ambitions and his drive was sort of separate to, to kind of the creative arts. Do you, could you see parallels? Yeah, yeah. Um, Ray and I, we share a lot in common. We spent a lot of time just hanging out, you know, not necessarily talking about filming or, or the movie, just hanging out and being humans together, which is important. So uh, it was a great time all the way around. And Hunter, I was going to ask, I mean, the characters joke that you don't look like you can play football. So I've just got to ask, can you, do you play football? <laughs> I, I, I played a lot of sports growing up my whole life, including football, but I only played football for one year and it was just for the experience. I didn't take it that serious. Um, I, I, I definitely like to think I'm maybe a little bit more athletic than Daniel. <laughs> um, and Kareen, I was going to ask you. I mean, um, the, the uh, is this obviously sort of a great a great role for you? And I just wondered if you felt acting was always something you were sort of going to were going to do. And if you feel kind of movie sets uh, are quite a familiar fa a place for you, because I'm assuming you must have spent a bit of time on them when you were a bit younger. Yeah, I grew up on movie sets. On uh, actually grew up on the Jamie Foxx show when my dad was um, he was doing that when I was really young. And so being on set is super comfortable. It's like you know like my second home. But it took me a while to want to enter the industry I really wanted to study the craft of acting and only start acting if it was something I really loved not just because people thought it was something that I should do um so that's mm. why it happened a little bit later than just straight out of high school uh, and yes I was going to ask as well I mean of course you're the the youngster on set how is it kind of being and having that role and kind of being around the people well, being a youngster did you kind of play up to that a bit was it quite enjoyable for you yeah it was super enjoyable you know I have no siblings I'm my only child so it was like I had a whole bunch of brothers and a sister and it was just so amazing I had so much fun being young too and just it was just it was just a lot of fun and I was going to ask too I asked you Jay I mean I'm, uh, I'm obviously as you can tell I'm English so my kind of experiences of kind of college and high school in America is through cinema so it always yeah. looks so cool to me I was just wondering how how authentic this depiction is. Is it, is it the kind of magic of the movies or, or do the, fil the films I'm watching, is that kind of how it all, all works in, in the States? Oh, no. Um, safety to me has been the most realistic version of any sport movie that I've ever seen on camera. Just because like the little subtleties and I tried to do my best to take it even further with along with my castmates. But um, even the football in this movie is incredible. And any player in American football who watches this will agree. I guarantee, hands down. And I was, going to, I was going to ask as well, Hunter, because obviously this this film is getting a big kind of Disney release. Do you have any sort of um, uh, plans to watch it uh, with the kind of family or Zooms? I mean, because I interviewed someone recently and their their mum put out a red carpet for them at home. I just wondered if you had any uh, anything similar to sort of <laughs> you. Yeah, so obviously I, I, I would love to do something bigger, but I can't given circumstances. I have a huge extended uh, Italian-American family in St. Louis, Missouri. There's, I, I think, around 80 to 90 of us. Uh, so I originally, myself and Reggie Hudlin, the director who's from East St. Louis, we wanted to get both of our families and rent out a theater together. But that, that obviously can't happen anymore. So what I'm going to do now is just watch it with my parents in, in the comfort of my home. I mean, that's, that's all it's for. For me, my, a lot of my motivation is my family. So the, those are the people that I care about most. So it, it'll still be an extremely special experience. Yeah. And just say, yeah, Kareen, have you got plans to watch it with your family? And that's not me asking if you're going to sit down and watch it with your dad, I promise. <laughs> oh, I can't watch it with my dad. He's filming in Atlanta right now. Um, <laughs> But I did, I was looking at uh, renting an outdoor screen um, so that I could watch it socially distanced with uh, more family uh, and a couple friends. Um, so maybe I'll have like a mini type of premiere at my house in my backyard. <laughs> 
Well, thanks so much for your time today, guys, and best of luck with the movie. Thanks. Thank you. Yes, bye, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!